we go back to Fuerteventura, which I, um, the mountain that was completely overwhelming. And I got back, back to my studio and I decided I would like to make a work that um, kind of talks about another contrast of like, even though this world in a way is still overwhelming and many things, there's a huge sea, there's a huge mountain, there are huge roads. But as we human beings, we are able to remap and reshape and rethink our environment, I decided that I would then make my own little environment where I will rethink and remap and reconstruct. So using photographic images, a lot of photographic images I had taken in Fertivetur, I came back to my studio and made this landscape out of paper, which was about four meters by three, which was a kind of skirt. I could sit in it, in it and build my own landscape. This work is called Altered Scape, Altered Scape Stories, um, Spilling Waste. Um, referring to most of these islands that are try they're trying to make them more touristic and more um, conducive for tourists to come in and live in it. I first um, talked about the issues of water because that's one of the main issues they have in these islands in which also not having bringing in water from the mainland and at the same time with tourism bringing in pollution and also bringing in industries which create this pollution. So in this way I made a kind of double meaning as we always say water is blue. When we're kids we learn water is blue. Um, but at the same time this blue is a kind of toxic blue and we as humans also spilling it into the landscape. And so that work is talking about this duality between the how we want to also alter but what happens with it as we alter. And this is um, altered landscape, um, altered, altered, altered scape stories uprooting the past. So I, I refer to this work in a three, in a, in really going back to classic paintings of like, uh, the, um, of Grunwald, of like having a triptych and having the centerpiece and having it opening. But in this sense, it's three photographic works, one meter by one meter each, and place one next to the other. And in that sense, um, I'm, this is a very classic, referring to classic painting, in which, for example, the smoke, for me, refers back to the skull. In most um, classic painting, we always say that th there's a renaissance, but the skull still reminds us that we're not mortal and that we'll still go back and we will die. But we will still, you know, it's a, a circle, but th it's there to remind us of death. So in this work, the first part starts with like a kind of um, empty growing space, which was the beginning where nothing is, where human isn't. And in the second part, this is like uprooting, shifting things. And in the third part, which is modern construction, new in innovations, but then we also have the smoke, which will remind us, like the volcanic ash we had not long ago, that something will happen and whatever we build will be erased and we will start again. So um, this is called uprooting the past. Um, so now I will go to the final work here, which is related to the work I'm showing downstairs, which is called Delta Stories, which is much more specific. Um, there are lots of drawings. There are 18 drawings, and it's one piece of work, but um, looking at it from different angles. <clears throat> Oops. Oh, God. Sorry. I'm not... I work with PC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then... Thank you. Okay. Um, um, Delta Stories is a series of drawings related to a specific region, which is um, a region where I partly come from, because I'm from the east of Nigeria and the south, which is the southeast of Nigeria, where this is happening. Uh, this series were done between 2005 and 2006. And they're referring, when I started working, I first started making the work referring very much to the landscape and to 
the issues of a delta. So in, when you talk about a delta, it's constantly reshaping itself. It's never exactly as, because the waters are completely eroding and reconstructing and rebuilding and rerouting itself. So I was thinking of that n notion of the landscape rebuilding itself. And then, the, of course, the notion of the man in this landscape, what he does to it. And this area, Delta, Delta area of Nigeria, is an oil-rich area where there is petrol, lots of petrol, and in the 1960s, they, or 50s already, um, they found oil, petrol. Mm -hmm. And so due to that, that was a really big change from having a pluriculture into a monoculture. So Nigeria became a country that would produce oil and left aside quite a number of its other resources that it could have generated. And due to that, that has created a lot of turmoil and a lot of um, conflict in Nigeria itself and also out of it at the same time. So I decided to focus on this because I come from an area which is a tropical mangrove and we are water people. We eat fish. We understand what it is to have a certain plant and what it means that this is growing only here and it's used for this. Um, and so in that sense, with the Niger Delta and with what has been going on with this oil spillage and the pollution since the 1970s with Shell and different other companies, um, gas flares, which we see here, um, this, this um, issues um, then affects, of course, your means and your spiritual being and the way of actually living in your environment. And so I was, I, I was reading also at that point in time the book of Ken Sarawiwa, who was an activist and who was trying to fight for his people and who was actually killed by the government in a way um, due to his, his um, punch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in that sense, um, this work is about a, a, a um, combination of thoughts, um, emotions, um, scientific um, combinations of things, um, of uh, like this one is called um, blindfolded history lessons. Like we've, ne we've not still learned our, our lesson and we're still looking at it and we don't understand, we don't do something about it. Um, this one is called Blood for Oil, this is called Collapse Projects. So for each work, there are titles and they mean different things and different emotions and different um, ideas I have in the drawing. So you have also some zooming in into the image and zooming out. Um, this is a text from Ken Saro Weaver's book. Um, And flow up north, this is called flow up north. And this is not only referring to the oil going up north, but it's also referring to within the context of Nigeria that there are pipes that have been built from the south directly to the north because the northerners are those that control the, the power in the country. And so it's also talking about this division that is visible, are invisible at the same time, and the connection between this money and north and south and the fight for power. This gifts to the next generation. <coughs> and uh, landscape one, landscape two. I'll just show you, it's here in the exhibition so you can have a look downstairs and um, all drawings are connected to each other, one after the other. So this is the plan and this is how it's placed. So like the blood that is here is connected to that. The girl spilling blood also, it's entering into the landscape. Um, the spills, uh, so all the stories have different levels of narration and interpretation. Um, thank you very much. <laughs>